These are places with severe pollution, deadly creatures, and enough acid to boil you from the inside out. And that's not even the worst thing that can happen to you. You'll need to stay till the very end because some of these locations will shock you. In Chicago, there's a 2,000 meter long river that consistently bubbles like a hot top. It is known as the Bubbly Creek. The thing is, these bubbles don't occur as the result of natural causes or mechanical development. No, these bubbles occur as a result of 150 years of pollution, dating back to Chicago's industrial development. The creek was heavily polluted due to the amount of organic waste that had been consistently dumped in for almost two centuries. This organic waste comes from the slaughterhouses, as well as sewage from the plumbing systems. These bubbles form as a result of decomposition, and it can get so bad that it can cause a geyser that lasts for several minutes. And of course, there's the smell. Imagine what one month of garbage smells like. Not so good, right? Now imagine one year of garbage. Worst, right? Now imagine 150 years worth of it. Not convinced yet? What about the solidified scum? They say that the turbidity and the clearness of the water is so bad that one time, a man and a chicken were able to stand on the scum, like some sort of ice rink. But instead of ice, it's a thick layer of sludge. Suffice it to say that the state of the river has improved in recent times, but still, it's not safe to take a swim in there anytime soon, nor can you even eat the fish that are found there. They are declared unfit for human consumption. And if you think that's bad, wait till you see the other bodies of water on this list. Because when it comes to dangerous bodies of water that you should never venture into, the coastal waters of northern and eastern Australia come to mind. You're probably wondering, Australia? Those guys who are so nice and they have amazing beaches, why shouldn't I go swimming there? Well, the answer is one word, jellyfish. Or is that two words? The point is, those waters are heavily populated with jellyfishes, and not just any jellyfish. These are box jellyfish, the most venomous animal in the world. Yes, you heard me right. You could get stung by a box jellyfish if you go swimming in these waters. It should be noted that a sting from a box jellyfish could kill you within minutes, and that can only be increased if you have a genetic advantage. But are you willing to take the chance? Even if you don't get stung by a jellyfish, there are still other dangerous individuals like stingrays, scorpion fish, and blue-ringed octopuses. So the next time you're in northern or eastern Australia, it's best to stay away from the waters. Another place you should probably avoid is the Rio Tinto in Spain. I mean, it's one thing for animals to eat or sting you while you're swimming, but what's worse is if you're boiling in acid. This is not a joke. Rio Tinto has been the recipient of mechanical runoff because the river flows through an area that's rich in sulfide ore. And after millions of years of this contamination, the composition of the river changed, turning from regular to red. And that's why the river's name is Rio Tinto. This literally translates to the stained river. This means that the water is inhospitable for most forms of life. And sadly, unless you're a sulfide loving bacteria, you're not one of those forms. Due to the action of these bacteria and the chemicals present, the pH level of the river dropped to as low as 2 on the pH scale. That's as acidic as vinegar, and very much unsafe for humans. Though, Rio Tinto is cool to look at. It's a marvel for those who are fans of seeking unusual things, like a red river. But it's not the kind of place where you would want to go swimming. Another worthy candidate for places that you should never go swimming is the Eagle's Nest sinkhole in Florida. It may not look like much from above, but inside is a 300 meter deep hole in the middle of a swamp. Now, when you first hear this, it might seem like fun. There's no immediate danger when one goes into this underwater cave. But the thing is, it's incredibly easy to get lost. One could easily lose their bearings and not know which way to go, and that's already a big deal if you're on dry land. But when you're 300 meters below water, let's just say your situation is a lot worse. The truth is, the Eagle's Nest sinkhole has claimed the lives of hundreds of scuba divers who dared to venture into the deep, including professional scuba instructors. Only a few persons have actually survived the process of going into the hole, and yes, they've described their experience as unreal. But given the slim chances of survival, it's best if you never go into the Eagle's Nest hole. Now, if you go all the way to Poas Volcano in Costa Rica, there you'll find a lake known as Laguna Caliente, which mainly translates into Hot Lagoon. Laguna Caliente is arguably one of the most beautiful lakes in the world, and it's located in a volcanic crater about 30 meters deep and 0.3 kilometers wide. Now you may be wondering why Laguna Caliente is considered dangerous, given that it's a very small and beautiful lake. Well, for one thing, it's on top of an active volcano and prone to frequent explosions, not the kind of place you want to be diving in. 
But it's not just the heat and explosions that make it the ideal location to lose your life. No, it's due to the fact that the lake is as acidic as a car battery, reaching a pH level of almost zero. So if you thought Rio Tinto was bad, just imagine what Laguna Caliente is like. So quick recap. Laguna Caliente is on top of an active volcano. It's prone to exothermic explosions, and worst of all, it's extremely acidic, enough to peel your skin off, making it the last place you want to go for a relaxing dip. Did you know that the River Nile is one of the most dangerous rivers in the world? You probably were not expecting this, given that the River Nile is a famous river, and the popular belief is famous rivers can't kill you, especially when the river is popularly referred to as the Cradle of Humanity. Surely a river with such a nickname will be life-enriching and not dangerous. Sorry to burst your bubble, but the Nile isn't the best place to take a swim, and you're probably wondering why. In a word, crocodiles. It's no wonder why ancient Egyptians were fond of worshipping the crocodile god Sobek, and why a crocodile is part of their afterlife process. It's because a lot of them lost their lives due to crocodiles. There are at least a hundred crocodile incidents in the Nile every year, and a lot of them lead to the loss of lives. Even shark attacks aren't as prominent as that. But crocodiles aren't the only dangerous things in the Nile. Ever heard of the Black Mamba? It's the second most venomous snake in the world and also one of the fastest snakes, and it's commonly found in the Nile. So perhaps you should just admire the rich history of the Nile, rather than going for a swim. There's been some very deadly bodies of water on this list, places that you'll absolutely lose your life when you dive into them. Yet, they all seem small in comparison to the Boiling Lake. Located in the Dominican Republic, the Boiling Lake is a lake that is actually boiling. And if you've ever been scalded by hot water in the past, you'd understand why this is not a good idea to go in. But why is the water boiling? Well, it's due to the fact that it's right on top of scalding magma. And if you don't know what magma is, it's basically lava formed from the partial melting of rocks due to the movement of oceanic and continental plates. It's a complicated process, but due to the heat of the magma, the lake on top starts boiling at extremely high temperatures, to the point where it's inhospitable for most forms of life. Meaning, taking a dip in the boiling lake is the same as voluntarily taking one's own life. Fun fact about the boiling lake, it's the second largest hot lake in the world, next to the frying pan lake in Rotorua, New Zealand. This brings us to the last place you absolutely should not take a swim in, and that is the Amazon River. Yes, you heard that right, the Amazon River. You should never go swimming in the longest river in the world. If you've been paying attention to everything we've been saying, it is that naturally occurring waters, especially famous rivers, are not the best for swimming. This is because the Amazon, though long and beautiful, is home to a wide array of flora and fauna, and some of them would like nothing more than to kill you. For example, there's at least the black caiman crocodile that grows as big as 20 feet, and in almost all of the black caiman crocodiles recorded, there have been no survivors. There is the famous, or dare I say infamous, anaconda, of course one of the biggest snakes in the world, is commonly found in the Amazon River. And even though the movie Anaconda is an over-exaggeration, real anacondas actually do eat humans. There are also live piranhas that enjoy eating human flesh and there have even been giant leeches that feed on human blood. That's right, you could lose your life due to the giant leeches. So to be safe, it's best that you don't take a dip in the Amazon River. It's funny how water, the universal prerequisite for life, can also be so dangerous. But we can all rest knowing that for every dangerous body of water, every jellyfish and crocodile infested river, every hot lake and acidic lagoon, there are waters out there that are safe to swim and relax in. And that's enough to be grateful for.